Welcome to our Baxter hearing video about causes of tinnitus. Tinnitus can be treated with various methods, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, RTMS, and medication. The symptoms of tinnitus will gradually increase in volume. There are a variety of causes of tinnitus, which vary depending on your condition. Here are the top 5 causes of tinnitus. Repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, RTMS. Two independent researchers assessed articles to determine their quality and adherence to the criteria for inclusion. Articles were required to report the clinical efficacy of RTMS for chronic tinnitus and be randomized controlled trials, RCTs. They were exempted from duplicate trials, studies reporting animal experiments, and conference abstracts. In the present study, 289 participants with persistent tinnitus underwent active 1 Hz RTMS to the left temporoparietal region. During this procedure, participants were given a visual analog scale to measure the loudness of the tinnitus. Participants were also interviewed about their tinnitus duration, pitch, laterality, and sleep. In addition, participants had resting motor thresholds measured. Several clinical studies have investigated RTMS for tinnitus. While no consensus has yet been reached, these studies demonstrate that repeated daily RTMS may be effective for chronic tinnitus. However, the results are largely inconsistent. The first systematic review of RTMS found inconsistent results. In addition, the sample size of the studies was too small to determine the effectiveness of the treatment. Further studies are needed to determine the appropriate frequency and duration of RTMS. The researchers concluded that the stimulation of the left and right temporal cortex by repetitive RTMS is effective for treating tinnitus. Combined ETMS studies can detect disease-related changes in neuroplasticity. In addition, RTMS can help people who are experiencing tinnitus due to abnormal activity in the auditory cortex. The acoustic trauma that caused tinnitus is believed to be a major contributor to the development of tinnitus. A recent study showed that Lee RTMS applied over the contralateral auditory cortex alleviated behavioral symptoms associated with tinnitus. A second study found a small reduction in spontaneous firing rate in the IC after RTMS treatment. Using a different type of RTMS, researchers compared the effects of the treatment on BDNF levels in the brain. While Lee RTMS decreased the spontaneous firing rate, it did not decrease it by a significant amount. The results of the study were published in the journal Psychological Science. A large body of research has confirmed the efficacy of Lee RTMS in treating tinnitus. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy There is no known cure for tinnitus, but there are several treatments that may be able to relieve the symptoms. If you are dealing with depression because of your tinnitus, you should seek therapy. This type of treatment involves psychological counseling and is not a quick fix. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a great way to get a handle on your condition. There are also many apps available that may be useful, such as Auto. The primary goal of cognitive behavioral therapy is to reduce internal attention to tinnitus, improve coping mechanisms, and create new, more enjoyable activities and thought patterns. Behavioral therapies may be delivered in a group setting, one-on-one, -on -one, or even through a remote computer. The following paragraphs will provide an overview of the main features of behavioral therapy for tinnitus. Cognitive behavioral therapy is not a cure for tinnitus. But it may help you pay less attention to the symptoms of tinnitus and live a happier and healthier life. Its success has been measured with the Tinnitus Functional Index, a validated outcome measure of treatment responsiveness. Many CBT for tinnitus protocols is modeled after those used for chronic pain. Many healthcare providers who treat chronic pain may already be using these techniques. Another benefit of CBT for tinnitus is a reduction in stress levels. People with chronic tinnitus often engage in routine checks to see if the ringing is going away. Sometimes, they blame loud noises they were exposed to during their younger years or recreationally listen to music. These feelings often blend with depressive symptoms. Only psychological treatment can effectively address the root causes of tinnitus. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Permanent Tinnitus is designed to address the mental and emotional issues associated with the condition. Using an attentional strategy called Thought Stopping can help sufferers reduce the stress that they experience. They also develop an elaborate pattern of avoidance, avoiding loud noises or quiet environments. 
when the process starts to work, the symptoms will gradually diminish. Ultimately, this treatment will help patients return to their daily lives. Stress and Anxiety In addition to causing tinnitus, stress can cause higher sensitivity to noise and light. If you're prone to stress or anxiety, pay attention to your hearing when you're feeling stressed or emotionally drained. You may begin to notice changes in your tinnitus and hear a lot more than normal. It may even be permanent, and you might even have to stop working. While most tinnitus is temporary, anxiety is thought to trigger episodes of tinnitus, which then quickly go away. Although experts agree that anxiety does not cause tinnitus, it can create a mentality that makes us more susceptible to this condition. When you're stressed out, you're more likely to be distracted by the noise, which may make it worse. Other common causes of tinnitus include blood vessel disorders, which increase blood flow in the ear and irritate the nerves and tissues of the ear. Some chronic conditions, such as diabetes, migraines, thyroid problems, anemia, and other autoimmune disorders, can also contribute to tinnitus. If you have tinnitus, you may want to seek treatment for your heart condition or prevent its onset. In one study, researchers discovered a direct correlation between the severity of tinnitus and the amount of stress people experience. The highest levels of stress were associated with the most severe and prolonged cases of tinnitus. They surveyed a total of 196 people aged 20 to 60. 46 patients had subjective tinnitus that was associated with hearing loss. The remaining 50 subjects were healthy and did not have tinnitus. While tinnitus can be a serious problem for many people, there are a number of ways to reduce stress and anxiety. You may want to consider reducing your stress levels as part of your treatment program. Anxiety and stress will make your tinnitus worse, so it's important to reduce your levels of both. It's important to recognize the impact of your stress levels on your tinnitus and your quality of life. Hearing loss can cause tinnitus. When a person experiences ringing or buzzing in the ears, it is not caused by external sound but by abnormalities in the nerve cells that carry sound signals to the brain. In some cases, hearing loss can result in permanent tinnitus. Other causes of tinnitus include head and neck injuries, earwax buildup, and certain types of hearing loss. In rare cases, tinnitus is subjective to the person who experiences it, although a doctor can often determine its cause. Treatment for tinnitus varies in severity. It may go away on its own in a few days or weeks, but it may also remain a nuisance for a long time. In such cases, it is vital to consult a doctor to rule out underlying causes and determine the best treatment. Once the underlying cause is identified, a specialist can recommend an appropriate treatment that will minimize the effects of tinnitus. Regardless of the cause, it is important to note that tinnitus can be caused by any number of conditions. Usually, this condition is temporary and goes away after treatment, but it can lead to permanent tinnitus if the ear tissue becomes damaged. Similarly, some people can develop tinnitus from allergies to certain types of medications and substances. The severity of tinnitus is determined by a person's general health. Lifestyle, diet, and physical activity can all have an impact on the occurrence of tinnitus. For those who experience persistent ringing in their ears, a hearing aid may mask the ringing or humming sound. In addition to wearing a hearing aid, a person can also wear protective gear that shields the ears from loud noise. Studies have shown that people who suffer from tinnitus also suffer from hearing loss. These conditions occur at different frequencies and can also result in small hearing loss. Some people experience tinnitus without noticing any hearing loss. Likewise, a tinnitus patient may experience small, hidden hearing loss and have difficulty hearing in background noise. But there is no definitive cause for tinnitus. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.